It's been revealed that Greenland sharks are now the longest living vertebrates ever discovered on Earth. Through radiocarbon dating, researchers were able to identify the age of 28 of these animals, one female being approximately 400 years old. After extensive research, the team discovered that a shark's growth rate was just one centimeter per year and they become sexually mature at approximately 150 years old. Lead author Julius Nielsen, a marine biologist from the University of Copenhagen, said, We had our expectations that we were dealing with an unusual animal. But I think everyone doing this research was very surprised to learn that sharks were as old as they were. Also, if you've not done so already, please subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell to get inspired by these animal stories every day. Now, back to the story. The former vertebrae record holder was a bowhead whale estimated to be 211 years old. But if invertebrates are brought into the longevity competition, a 507-year-old clam called Ming holds the title of most aged animal. Greenland sharks are huge beasts that can grow up to 5 meters in length. They can be found swimming slowly throughout the cold, deep waters of the North Atlantic. With this leisurely pace of life and sluggish growth rate, the sharks were thought to live for a long time, but until now, determining any age was difficult. For some fish, scientists are able to examine their ear bones called otoliths, which when sectioned show a pattern of concentric rings that scientists can count as they would rings in a tree. Sharks are harder, but some species, such as the great white, have calcified tissue that grows in layers on their backbones that can also be used to age the animals. But the Greenland shark is very, very soft shark. It has no hard body parts where growth layers are deposited. So it was believed that the age could not be investigated, Mr. Nielsen told BBC. However, the team found a clever way of working out the age. The Greenland shark's eye lens is composed of a specialized material and it contains proteins that are metabolically inert, explained Mr. Nielsen, which means after the proteins have been synthesized in the body. They are not renewed anymore, so we can isolate the tissue that formed when the shark was a pup and do radiocarbon dating. The team looked at 28 sharks, most of which had died after being caught in fishing nets as by catch. Using this technique, they established that the largest shark, a 5-meter-long female, was extremely ancient because radiocarbon dating does not produce exact dates. They believe that she could have been as young as 272 or as old as 512, but she was most likely somewhere in the middle, so about 400 years old. It means she was born between the years of 1501 and 1744, but her most likely date of birth was in the 17th century. Even with the lowest part of this uncertainties, 272 years, even if that is the maximum age, it should still be considered the longest living vertebrae, said Mr. Nielsen. Conversely, if her age is at the upper end of the scale, she will have outlived Ming the clam. Although her age has a greater probability of lying in the middle, the team believes the animals only reach sexual maturity when they are four meters long. And with this new very lengthy age range, it suggests this does not occur until the animals are more about 150 years old. The researchers say this has consequences for future conservation of the animals. Because of their extreme longevity, Greenland sharks may still be recovering from being overfished before World War II. The sharks' livers were once used for machine oil and they were killed in great numbers before a synthetic alternative was found and the demand fell. When you evaluate the size distribution all over the North Atlantic, it is quite rare that you will see sexually mature females and quite rare that you will find newborn pups or juveniles, Mr. Nielsen explained. It seems that most are sub-adults that make sense if you've had all this very high fishing pressure. All the old animals, they're not there anymore and there are not that many to give birth to new ones. There is this though, still a very large number of teenagers, but it will take another hundred years for them to become sexually active. Another author of the study, Professor Christopher Ramsey, director of Oxford Radiocarbon Accelerator Unit at the University of Oxford, said that radiocarbon dating could be used to determine the ages of other animals, but was not likely to be chosen as the primary method. For many animals, we have other methods to determine age. He said also the radiocarbon method is not very precise and so is only really relevant for very long-lived species. 
He added that the statistical method used to determine the shark's ages was Bayesian statistics. Bayesian statistics were first worked out by the Reverend Bayes in the 18th century. This means that he will have been working on this when some of the oldest sharks were young. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your friends and family. Thanks again, and we'll see you in the next one.